ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another live stream on twitch.tv slash assume we've got bananas in chat from Ollie95XZ, Sass9602, Birdie, Spangleboo, Graceful, Estellian, DJ Echo, Roman Empire the Second, Cryleo Free, Y2G Gaming, Caxio Music, Asuma Voice, Liam, Estellian again, Ares the Greek God, DJ Echo again, Roman Empire the Second again, jeez. People are throwing multiple amounts of bananas at me. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Hope you're looking forward to some Cities Skylines action. Because I'm looking forward to some Cities Skyline action. Bam! Now, I believe we ran into some problems with our city last time. And th th there still seems to be some problems. What about traffic over here? Traffic's gotten a little bit better, just a little bit. Uh, no, maybe it hasn't. But congratulations! Chestnut Experience has reached level 3. Swinging Boat, House of Horrors, Bumper Cars. We're going to go add those things right now, I think. We're going to pretend that the problems in our city don't exist for a moment. Uh, what we will do is quickly push up the budget for... Uh, well, it's already all the way up there, so that's slightly alarming. It's probably the traffic that's creating the main problem. So maybe if we add an extra Kremi here or there. Where do we need them? It's really this area. So I think somewhere down here might be a good spot for a Kremi. Where can we not remove so many buildings? Oh, maybe on that corner there. There's not actually anything built there. Bam! Which was intentional and now there's that. So cool. Right, hopefully that'll... Ah, uh, there's more over here. Hey, hopefully that'll make a difference while we just have some fun over here working on the chestnut experience. Is that what it's called? Chestnut experience? Oh wait, maybe it's... No wait, that was just that was just the name of the, the block. Here is where, yes, chestnut experience. Cool. Visitors this week, 32. That does not seem like a lot, does it? But let's go down to the, the tab down here. Ponybutts says, yo... What's up, nerds? <laughs> Spangleboo says, so early for Kremi. Hype. Leonard says, the timer is not working. Oh. Uh, Snaz appears to have crashed or, or something. How oh, very odd. I don't think I've ever seen it do that before. In fact, I've, I don't recall Snaz ever messing up on me. Let's. Uh, oh, look, it crashed after three seconds. Wow. I'll, ch I'll chuck three minutes on there. Thanks for the heads up on the timer. X, what are your plans for this stream, says Roman Empire the Second. Fix the traffic. That's it, fix the traffic. And I've got some ideas, you know. I'm not unprepared. After that, I don't really know. We'll probably we'll probably take it one step at a time and see what's needed. So, amusement park, we unlocked three extra things. If we go all the way across and work our way back, it's probably those three. So we now have a, uh, a swinging boat. I think I'm going to put that just over on, on this track. We'll put two of the new features... On the paths that veer off to the other entrances. So, swinging boat, house of horrors, and last of all, bumper cars, which we shall put. Maybe we can put another path somewhere in here soon. Uh, where would be the path tool for this one? Wait, I'm thinking all wrong, aren't I? I'm thinking all sorts of wrong right about now. Right, let's go have a curvy road that goes from there to there. Wonderful. And on that road, we shall put our new attraction. And where is our new attraction? Here it is. Bam. Alright, power should be good for the whole thing. Awesome. And that's probably just going to bring some more people into the park, you know. Got some bump cars in here. These things are kind of expensive, actually. How are we doing on profitability? Uh, we, we, we are losing money big time. That's cool. Let's bump up the price a little bit. Entertainment? No, and what's that? Entertainment until next level? We've gone over that, that's weird. Anyway, um, we got our first resubscribe of the stream for six months in a row. Alio99 using the Amazon Prime subscription, thank you for doing that. I greatly appreciate it, I hope you enjoy the stream. Thank you for your support. Spazzo says, uh, hey X. It's Spazlo, isn't it? Spazlo says, hey X, love your videos. Thank you, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Hangster says, X, you should use a different template for announcement videos when doing It's Live Now. The Twitch link should be on top, not linked to the time zones. I understand time zones announcements ahead of time. Write this down and do it later. Uh, maybe there's a reason I don't do that, is all I'll say. Uh, anyway. Oh, 
There's deaths in there's deaths in this place. Did we ever get to the next level here as well? So th this one is doing rubbish. It's kind of absurd how there seems to be crowds of people out here, and yet we're not really getting the people here. Well, man, the death the death is just continuing, isn't it? Let's go check that out. Wow. It looks like it's starting to curve off though. So this might not be traffic related, but most likely it is. That's generally how the death things work. Your traffic backs up and all of a sudden the city goes haywire. So a lot of this traffic is uh, situated in this one place. Here's how I want to start our traffic experiments. We've got a thousand people using the buses. Let's check out how much the buses cost, right? So over here, buses are costing us two grand. The metro is actually about the same. Uh, we're going to delete some bus lines today, peeps. I'm going to redo them all. Yep, just going to delete them all and start again. And lots of people are unhappy because of this. Now let's see if it removes the buses immediately off the streets. Oh, and let's check the budget for that as well. So from two grand down by 60 bucks. Really? Okay, no, it's going down further now. Maybe maybe they actually have to drive off of the roads, right? They're not just going to disappear. So if we head back over here, uh, where is our bus depot? Here it is. So each time a bus comes into that depot, we may just see this number go down. I mean, I'm not seeing any buses get near it at the moment, but the number is going down. Ah, maybe they're just disappearing. Um, our city is making crazy losses of money. Crazy losses. Unbelievable. Well, let's uh, focus on the areas that were... Yep, look at that. Traffic's starting to disappear. Not so much here, but definitely over there. So the question is, is the traffic better or worse with buses? Seems to be better, right? This is certainly busy here. Very busy over this spot. But the traffic is flowing. It's not getting too backed up. Fascinating. Is this more like a realistic version of Sims? Says Cool Cool Kib Bakadu. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess you could describe it as that. Is there a game going on right now? No, there isn't. Have we been winning games? We need that prize money, peeps. But the city is hemorrhaging money right now. Let's bring down our uh, healthcare budget. That should be a little bit better with the traffic. Sorted. Um, electricity seems over budget, so does water. So let's just adjust all of this slightly. Apparently, we boosted education by five percent at one point. Okay, now we're now we're back in the green. That's nice to see. Uh, Joel Kip is here, resubscribing for 31 months in a row, saying good morning, everyone. Good morning, Joel Kip. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're uh, enjoying hanging out with us today. I'm mm, starting to wonder if I should have actually bumped down the, the medical stuff yet. Let's actually leave that higher up. That'll probably swing us back into the negative. So we just need to get through this death wave, really. Need to demolish some uh, buildings down here. I think, this, I think this area is a bit doomed to fail as we've built so many offices and educated so many of our people. Maybe we could repurpose this into like a high-tech area. In fact, one thing I'm going to do is get rid of uh, zoning in these spots where there's no longer people working. Although, will it evacuate other businesses if I unzone the whole thing? Ha! Ah, look at that! Tricky stuff. Okay, we've got two more over here. And uh, one more up here. Cool. So we'll keep it like that for now. And we'll wait this one through. Uh, Hypertex is here. Throwing some bits at me. Saying cheer to cheer, cheer, cheer. Love your vids, man. Got me back into playing vanilla Minecraft again. And loving the streams, by the way. I'm glad you're enjoying the streams and the videos. Good to hear you're playing some vanilla Minecraft. I mean, it's classic, right? It's classic. It never gets old. Uh, appreciate the support, man. Thank you ever so much. So traffic's looking kind of healthy. And this area here is kind of doing all right as well. And so's that one, even though we've got this crazy roundabout system here now with the crossroads. 
I think I think if this road went straight to there, it would make more sense on a roundabout. I don't know how I convinced myself not to do that. Let's try and make a little change there. We'll actually uh, destroy that for now. And I think what we want to do is remove the traffic lights. Yes, we do. Because this is a roundabout, you know. Now, people are turning in here. It's because they live there. I'm sorry, but those are going to have to go. And this looks like it's going to be chaos for a fast minute. As all of these cars get out of there. I'm just going to delete it. Oh, and straight away a building appears. Well, I guess that's the thing, isn't it? Uh, also, our metro thing got stopped there, didn't it? Right, wow, that was possibly a terrible change then, because, look, traffic backed up immediately after that. I think it would be better just to put more metro, monorail, and buses are useless, I think, says Jinho. We are going to use buses again, um, but I think you're right, focusing on the metro is probably a lot better. They are they are stopping there. This is the weird thing. They're just sort of treating it like there is lights, but I definitely turned the lights off. So it kind of oh wow, look at all the people in the metro. That's crazy. Hey, we might need to push our metro budget up now. I think I think what I'll do is I'll roll the roads back. We'll we'll keep doing little changes here. Let's roll the roads back to what everyone really wants. Look at that. They, look at those Look at those cheery faces. This is what they really wanted. And we probably need to adjust this again. Off by default. That's what we need. Hi. Alright. It looks like it's doomed to be busy. No, look. Traffic is... Uh, Jeez, did all of this occur after we got a, got rid of the roundabout? Because the roundabout seemed to be doing a good job. Now I'm not so sure it's really going to work. Well, maybe we should give it a moment. Man, we just need like a slip road here to go all the way around to that space there. That's all we need. Tea time, X, says Roman Empire the Second. Thank you for the reminder. I do have a cup of tea here. While this while this area here continues to be a problem. Ooh, interesting. That's not good having that. Oh, this is just terrible AI again. I mean, have you ever seen a car do that in the middle of the motorway? I really want a better, better. Like I don't mind having traffic problems because I I'm bad at traffic, but what I don't like seeing is stuff like that, you know. Okay, it looks like it's slowly alleviating. Wow, that was rough. Um, Camera J says, "X, did you see the thunder and lightning last night? It woke me up, and then I was sat there watching it for an hour. Yes, um, it woke me up in a bit of a panic." Goodness me, it took me a while to realise what was going on. And then I just want to go back to sleep, really. And it just went on for hours. <laughs> it was crazy. Right, let's go look at our traffic statistics. So, now we have boosted the amount of people on the metro up. If we go to our metro tab... Can we... We're looking at all systems at once here. Gonna only want to look at the metro right now. What happens if we can I close that and just have a look at No, I've got to keep transport open. Oh, you can resize that window, that's good. Hmm. So, uh I think I think the smart thing to do is to figure out Right, maybe we put one extra metro on the line because these are filling up, but they take 180 each. So I think what we need to do is put six on that line. And then on metro line number one, 
do the same thing. That one actually seems to be kind of coping until it gets to about here. So maybe we'll bump that one up to five. So one extra metro on either line should uh, help with the, the bandwidth, the capacity, so to speak. Oh, the death wave is just relentless at the moment. Caxio Music says, X, you should make an entire underground road system. Hmm. Um, I don't like the idea of using underground roads. They just feel a little bit cheaty. But at the same time, it kind of looks like we need one. Maybe we could experiment with one here then. So we've got a lot of traffic that wants to... Here's the thing. That traffic's going to disappear a bit now. See, I was going to build a one-way road from down here to over there. Now it kind of looks like we want a road going in the opposite direction. Anyway, to begin with, what we're going to do is just upgrade... Right, so now the monorail should be all linked up again. It will probably catch up in a second and remember it's linked up. I hope. Uh, Billman68 is here resubscribing for 20 months in a row. Thank you for resubscribing, man. Greatly appreciated. Billman says, good morning, Asuma. Good morning to you too. Is that section of monorail disconnected on purpose? Uh, sort of, yeah. But we've reconnected it. I wonder if time of day has something to do with where the traffic's coming from, you know? Let's see what happens when it's daytime. So I'm good with most of this. It is getting a little bit strained here. It's clearly a bit of a problem. Now this is just a regular street and there's no buildings on it. So why wouldn't it be a two lane highway? Is what I'm thinking now. Let's get one with some barriers in there. Like that'll allow the traffic to go around in two lanes and go... Well actually they're already in two lanes. We'll allow them to go faster I believe. Right, and you don't like that. Now, I wonder if we can use this. No, not that. Can we use this? And then... No, still doesn't like it. Ah, see? See, the power of move it, peeps. The power of move it. Also... Oh, hello. We just re-reached the Megapolis stage. Cool. I would like to uh, upgrade, but I can't, so... And we've reached it again, peeps. Unbelievable. Right, let's move that out. Ah, I see. I see what's going on. Okay, that don't look janky. That don't look janky at all. Let's resume. And hopefully that'll allow whiz, uh, traffic to whiz round it a little quicker. Maybe a free lane road might help here. Okay, that certainly seemed to make a difference. I like that. And do we have any traffic lights? I don't think we do. Very good. That's awesome. Okay, and now we've got a traffic problem here. Do I want to do the same thing all over again? Not necessarily, but can we actually do it without moving stuff? It kind of looks like we can the whole way around. Wow. Uh, yeah, then we have a problem here. I'm going to relocate you to there. And then this one over here has nowhere near as much traffic. That's cool. So, uh, Blue Jomo is here subscribing with Amazon Prime. I should probably drink some tea now, shouldn't I? I should probably drink some tea. Blue Jomo, thank you for using your Prime subscription on me. I appreciate it. Mm. And then we have Ollie95XZ gifting a sub to Papercat for six months in a row. Thank you ever so much to the both of you for the support. Greatly appreciated. Papercat in chat there saying thank you. Thank you with a big old smiley face. Yeah, I hope you're both enjoying today's stream. Right. Um, traffic has just become... A oh, goodness me. Traffic really just has become an absolute problem all of a sudden. We were doing so well. And by the way, the, uh, the death wave has ended, so...
When I play a future world, I'm going to get that mod that gets rid of death waves. I've in no way ever found them enjoyable. They are always just this huge head scratching pain in the butt. <laughs> That's awesome, hot air balloon. So we were looking at metro stuff, weren't we? Um, we've now got more passengers on the metro, I hope. Let's go check our lines. So we added one and now it seems like there's still tons of people trying to use the metro. This line looks way more under control. Almost looks like we could actually reduce uh, the amount of metros at this point. So let's put that one down to four. Put the other one up to seven. And hope that that helps. Now, I would like to add some more metro stops. But before we do that, let's actually do what I was originally going to do. Which was to add some bus stops. While I'm in this permanent underground view. Uh, I don't want to be in an underground view. I guess. Actually, no. Maybe you're always in this view. Regardless. When doing traffic. Roman Empire the second says X's promises for this stream fix the traffic. Jeez, it's a promise now, is it? So if I put a bus stop here, um, where's the path? Right. Let's say that's our crucial bus stop for getting people over here. Um, another point: How do they cross the road? They cross the road there. Let's just get rid of transport for a second. So why don't they cross here? I think. I think we need something to make the journey a teeny tiny bit shorter and it's probably going to not look very pretty in this area. Or maybe we can make it look okay. So let's grab a regular one of these. Let's turn off that. One, two, three. So that's too steep. Fair enough. Actually, do I want to... Oh, there's some absolute crowds coming out of here. I think actually what I might want to do is use a different bit of space. Let's destroy that. Let's start here and go down right next to there. We want a very efficient way to get to the metro. We want the AI in this game to see precise... Oh, that's why we don't go that way, because there's a park there. Of course there is. Um... Maybe we'll just move a building. I'm sorry, I know you live here, but I uh, kind of need this space. Yikes. There's no way. That does seem a bit cruel, doesn't it? Actually, that's a, that's a one wide building there. So let's go to there. No, I'm doing this all wrong. Doing it all wrong. Uh, <laughs> YouTube refused to notify me about X's stream, says Opisek. Sounds like a typical day on YouTube. I actually think maybe maybe this is fine. I don't know. Kind of want to find a way to put another path in without destroying some buildings. Maybe that's just what you got to do sometimes. Right, that's just what you got to do is now our, our attitude. Let's get this done, alright? We have we have an idea. Let's actually make it work. Okay. So now we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna go one, two, three. Over to that spot. Down to there, one, two, three. Okay. So very direct path to the metro from this side over here. And we've also got one there. So we're gonna start off our bus route with two stops. Or maybe it'd be smarter to put them in the middle. So let's have a stop here, quick walk to the metro. Now, where is a longer walk to the metro? Pretty much anywhere else around here. So let's go put in a stop roughly roughly in a centralized area. Maybe it's easy to walk to somewhere around here. And how far through here do we want to go, actually? I think we'll add, right, we're going to add a stop on this side of the street. Meaning, if you live in these blocks, look, they even it even kind of shows you. That's our radius, right? So now we need to go into this area, and it's going to show us our radius of effect. Okay, wasn't wasn't as big as we would have liked. Didn't catch much of this traffic, did we? So, um, hmm, that's something to consider. 
Uh, let's stop again on this street here. In fact, can we... Is there a right-hand turning here? There isn't. Uh-oh. That means we're going to stop on that side of the street. So if we stop... Already this line's looking a bit janky. Um, I think we're going to roll it back. We're going to go down this street. So if we put a stop here, we should be able to get people walking out of that cul-de-sac. Good. Then we're going to go put a stop there. To get people from that neighbourhood. Then another one here. People on this street. Hmm, kind of looks like you need a few more stops. Um, then we come down this street. So one right in the middle. Okay, good area of effect. And now I think we're going to come all the way down here. Get a few people from those streets. We're gonna we'll want to want to sort of head back now. So maybe we put a stop. Uh, let's put a stop there. Okay, good for that area. And then another stop here. Bam, good for that area. Okay, so that that line is effectively trying to hurdle people from this big area to this spot to get into that metro. All right. That's, that's the plan with that one. Joel Kip says, I'm thinking about programming my own YouTube subscription play that actually crawls my subscriptions and displays their videos in chronological order. Uh, Joel Kip, it'd probably be better to use the YouTube API like hermitcraft.com does because then you wouldn't have to crawl through loads of stuff. It would feed things to you. But then you might suspect that doesn't work. Who knows? Imagine if you could block yourself on Twitch as Papercat. That would be very strange. You'd type a message and then it would be like, where'd that message go? You know, another thought crossed my mind and then I immediately realised how terrible it was. I was thinking, well, a lot of people in this area can walk to this commercial district, but of course this connects you to other areas in the city, which is entirely the point of it. So we added a path here, people are using the path. We're going to put a station, or sorry, a bus stop next to it. Um, then we're going to come over to there, I think. So we're going to affect those people. Um, we'll put... Oh, wait a minute. We can kind of drop down through here, can't we? Yeah. Okay, now where would... Ah, this, this kind of leads us into a dead-end road. So we'd want to go on the other side of the road. Okay, that's kind of good. So we'll uh, skip around this corner to that spot. That's good. Come over to that spot there. Uh, we'll add one stop there, another one here, and then we'll reconnect. So that's a much shorter route, as you can see. But again, we're trying to suck all the people from this area into our bus stops, which are going to um, redirect people to this metro. Apparently there's been a fire. Another one. I can't believe it. We're going to go out of tower next to our metro, I think. It makes the metro look cool. It makes the area look more interesting. Right, now people are using our path over here. That's really good to see. People are at the bus stop. Wow, okay, we may have made a difference. X, what tea do you have, says Corelli. I've got an everyday bro. I mean bro, jeez. I've got that Disney Channel slurp going on. Uh, Lego Ryan says, I missed the last, city's, uh, last city skylines. What is the name of the city? Depopolis is the name of the city. Blue Boy 19 says lol. He's laughing out loud. Jeez. Right, so traffic in this area, not a problem. Although the buses are going to come out here and potentially make it a problem. We'll see. They got a good hook up to public transport in this area, and that seems to be visible. Wow, commercial having problems over here. Grown, grown. You know, it's, I think I'd like to just play this game on easy mode sometimes. I think I have more fun. Just making a city bigger and better than I do trying to fix traffic problems. Uh, it'd be fun if I actually knew how to solve it. Now, we don't have a metro station over here yet, do we? It might be good if these two districts shared one together. So let's go check that that is accurate. Metro. Yeah, they don't. So we by adding a metro here, we could effectively link another commercial and residential... Well, obviously to anywhere. There's not exactly a, like a high amount of traffic here either. And people can cycle in this area. Which makes me believe that cycling to the metro might be a thing they want to do. 
Um, we've got a two-way road here, so I think the best spot, before it goes into a one-way system, would actually be right around here. It's not a cycle street, though, so maybe it needs upgrading to a cycling street, and then peeps can cycle all the way to the metro. Pretty good, right? Pretty good, I think. What do y'all think about putting a metro stop right there? Any chance you do a YouTube series on this, says Drazzler. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing one. I, I probably will in the future. I want to learn more about the game by playing this. I think I'm learning I want to play with mods that make it easy. I just want to build. I just want to make a city look cool. Um, all this traffic management stuff drives me mad. But uh, it, is, it, is, it is fun to try and manage traffic. But the problem is, it's not fun when you don't really understand what you're doing. You know? It's not much fun at all. So I'm thinking this tunnel should quite simply, or maybe actually it makes most sense to turn this into a circle. In fact, it really does feel like that's what makes sense. So am I, am I, yeah, I'm clicking to that thing. There we go. And then, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Just turn it into a circle, it gets access to everything else. Uh, we're not going to add a line for it straight. Well, actually, what else are we going to be doing here? So, if we think about where the metro currently goes, it goes to... Oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness me. It goes to our leisure and tourism area. We don't have auto bulldoze, which I think is kind of a big deal here. Although there is no demand for commercial at the moment. The bubble has kind of burst on commercial, hasn't it? It's cool, it makes our city look a little bit skinny for now. And we've got traffic problems up here. I'm hoping that by just sorting out the traffic in other areas one stop at a time sensibly, it means that stuff will alleviate elsewhere because more people... Oh god, the traffic really has just gotten awful. Right, chestnut experience, level four. Pendulum ride, drop tower ride. Let's go and see uh, what is the the rating of this place. Like, what, what is it doing? It's still losing us money. Great. And the... I thought I put that up to 15. Uh, there's another level after this, by the way. Also, we're in the negative again on money. I did put a lot of money into healthcare. Let's draw that back down. And let's go and expand the chestnut experience. So... We have two more things. Uh, this drop tower ride, which looks really, really cool. Let's put that right there. And the pendulum ride. Uh, hmm, is that area getting a bit cluttered? I kind of don't want to put too much off to the paths on the side. How about right there? Path be too curvy. Uh, we'll, we'll put it in the middle, actually. Just, just there. Bam. Wow, that one's really cool. Have we got another death wave coming in? I think we've got another death wave coming in, peeps. That's what it kind of looks like. Your city has hit recession. All the shops are closing down, says Spangleboot. No, we can't be in a recession. How could this happen? Who let this happen? Anyway, I think what I was trying to say about this place is that I don't think we need to readjust our old lines because it's commercial and residential. Um, the only the only like place every line needs to go to is up here because this is our touristy area, right? That's the way I'm looking at it. So, oh, gazebo one, gazebo two. We'll go put those in in a moment. So we're going to go to this station because this is the middle of offices. Um, and then we shall visit this station up here and then we will basically come home we could we could stop off in this district that would be adding like a little bit of support so we won't do that straight away we're just going to do that to begin with now I don't think we need a bus line in this area I mean everything's pretty much going to be quite close to this you can cycle from all of this residential area 
to your local metro. I want to see cyclists going in. Where are the cyclists? Okay. Using those cycle lanes. Where are you? You're over there. Wait. Definitely saw a fella on a scooter. And another one. Fella on a scooter. Okay, it's working. They're just not coming off of this lane here. So our cycling people are going to the metro. That's wonderful. That, I hope that means they'll come from all the way out here and go to the metro so we don't have bus lines. Now, if you're in the commercial area, you're pretty much, you're pretty much looking at wherever you are, a quick walk down the street and off to the side. So if anything we could do is maybe add a bus stop at either end that sort of goes like this. But then we've got that one-way road here to stop the traffic being crazy. So I think we don't need anything going on here is what I'm saying. Uh, Kuplik says, A communist revolution shall rise and overthrow the commercial district, letting the ruling class yourself tremble in the face of communist revolution. The viewers will lose nothing but their derpiness. Are you telling me... Are you telling me that the, the people here are going to uprise after all of this? That we Look at this incredible city we built for them. Jeez. Jeez, I mean, there's some serious skill. It takes some serious skill to build a city of this size, you know. Even if it even if it does have traffic problems. Even if taxes are high. Jeez. They should be grateful. Okay, there is some serious problems. Um, but we're, we're, we're taking care of it bit by bit. The traffic just seems to steadily get worse and worse. As traffic seems to do. Where's our metro up here? Wasn't it really close? It was really close. Now we've got... Hmm. Yeah, look. We've got little walkings in the road here. So I don't think we need to change the bridge here at all. I am just wondering... Like, for footpath goodness... Um, you ain't going to be able to do something like that, are you? So there's really no modifications we make here unless we destroy a car park. I think we'll leave the car parks intact for now. Right, so tons of people coming off the metro, and uh, we get to put more stuff in our park, I believe. Two more things. There they are. We've got a gazebo. Gazebo 1, gazebo 2. Let's go put this gazebo in that area. And then all the way over here. Bam. Right, two gazebos. More features, more attractions. Please come to our city. And, and please don't come in your car. That would be bad. This area still looks amazing though, doesn't it? That area likes to use its, uh, its train station. Might be a good idea to add some of those buses going up there. But then again, traffic doesn't seem to be an issue in this space. So, let's just have a top-down view. We can see our buses going around our routes, can't we? Yep, I can see them all over the place. Uh, picking up some peeps, taking them to the metro, basically. So, let's go and check the capacity of the lines. So that looks pretty reasonable, that first stop having a crazy amount. Now we ended up with like 30 buses on a line last time. Let's only, let's only do this like a couple of vehicles at a time. Um, and then again, crazy amounts of people further down the line. I mean maybe there's an advantage to having them all just sitting around at a bus stop for ages. <laughs> maybe that stops them being a nuisance in their cars, creating traffic. Just so much of it. Where is it all coming from? It's coming from in here, isn't it? Clearly. Right, this area is functioning okay again. That's nice to see. This area has always been pretty stable. That's great. Got more abandoned buildings again. Useless parking land, says Labiferas. It is useless, I know, but it looks so cool. I wish they were functional car parks. We do have one or two of those here and there. Oh wow. There's a bit of a back up there. It's because they pretty much look pretty much everyone wants to go over there. No one is going well, a couple of cars occasionally do. What if this were a two lane bit? Let's see if we can change this up. You know, I'm looking to solve traffic problems. So what if that's a two lane deal? Now both of those lanes can turn, and both of them are, which means the ones coming around the outside here don't need to change lane. But when they get to this bit, uh, they will definitely 
Right, so what is actually in the way there? It appears to be this road. Ooh, that's kind of not what I wanted to do. Drag you there. Drag you there. Like that. Is there like a teeny tiny bit of funkiness? There is. That ain't so bad. Alright, it kind of looks like I, I sussed out what we're doing here pretty well. Oh, look at that. Right, okay. But then they all want to go into one lane halfway around it. Which is absurd. Stop doing that. Oh, now they all want to go... In. This is horrible. <laughs> I made a good decision there. And then they all decide, oh no, we want to use one lane after a certain amount of time. Jeez. Bunch of rebels. Kind of looks like maybe... Maybe what you need is a connect... Hang on. We could we could still maybe... Okay. We're going to play this game. We're going to play this game of rubbish traffic AI. Right? I don't know what they're doing. They're not driving like you would on a normal road. Okay? We're going to create a junction. A super junction. That's what we're going to call it. Right here in the middle. Because um, they seem to like to come... Straight into the outside lane is what I'm observing. So, why don't we let them do that with a little bit of a junction come in... Hmm, it's actually going to be tricky, isn't it? This is going to be a tricky one. If I can just get the junction in there... Right, it's a height problem. So, let's start where we're already over. Aha! Yes, just like that. Now, that is a sharp right-hand turn, but it might just be the right sort of turn that we need. Also, having that there might then mess up all of the lanes here. You might actually need that connection on the opposite side of the road. I don't know how this stuff works. But no one is using my new road that I added. And that makes me sad. Why is traffic such a problem, says Corelli? Just the AI, I don't know. It's like a bit of a mystery. Okay, they've finally decided to start using that. So they go straight into the lane that they want. But... W probably what we're going to see is that now behind they're all going to behave differently because they're all going to want to get into that lane to go down there. Kind of, You can kind of see it there already, right? So it's not as good as you think. And now no one's using that outside lane. So that can all just probably become a single road again. Eh... I tried. I tried, peeps. Build underground roads, says Av Avek Nab. You know, here's the thing. Like, it's not going to... Right, building an underground road here ain't going to be a solution. It seems like a cool idea because... Oh, you don't have to worry about where the other roads are. That's not actually the problem. The problem isn't where the other roads are. The problem is how the cars are choosing to be in lanes and what turnings are designated for lanes. Right, so... We had, we had a problem with lots of cars backing up, so we made it too wide, and that was good. All the cars could push up into that too wide space, but then they reach a point where the AI says, I want to change into this lane over here, and then when they get down here, they also want to immediately change into the furthest over lane. So that's, that's the problem. It doesn't matter if the connections are above ground or underground. It's how the traffic AI is using these connections that we've got. Um, they're not merging very well here at all, are they? And maybe that's why you should actually have connections on the opposite side. Because we have created a bit of a nasty backup there. Turn that bit of a highway into a four-lane AI kind of fixes their AI. Four-lane highway. They, Those are a thing? Ah, unfortunately something is very close to it. So will that give us, hmm, maybe that bit as well needs to be four lane. They still, wanna, they still just want to merge on the furthest lane over. So maybe, maybe here's what we do. We'll get rid of this again. We'll go back to the two lane over here. Which may have a problem upgrading there. So uh, let's... Okay. Let's also take this four lane and just have it like that for a while. Ah! 
Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant stuff. Or is it? Because they're now... See, it wants to go to the furthest lane over, but now there's two lanes of traffic over on that side. Then they merge into a three-lane highway, and they actually don't try and get into the same lane together. Fascinating. Great suggestion. Who was that in chat? Well done, you. That seemed to have uh, helped us there big time. Right, let's look for more of those conflicts then. So where we have merging conflicts, we need to fix merging conflicts. Now here we have an extraordinary amount of backup and that is definitely a merging conflict. So let's go back into a four lane and keep it into a four lane for a while. And let's see how the traffic behaves. Now that stuff is just skipping down the outside lane all the way until we have a backup here. Now we've got more, just more merging up ahead. Let's... I'm not sure that keeping it a four lane all the way across is really going to work. But we definitely now get two lines of traffic on the outside. Um, and they want to they wanna move over. They clearly want to move over, don't they? Let's go and move this bit. Alright, so that'll work possibly all the way up to this point. We're just going to have to keep going. I'm not really seeing what decisions we can make to change stuff at the moment. Let's see how they behave leading up to that. So, wow, that backup is utterly enormous, but this bit here is still behaving good. So we've, we've made some improvements. Um, it's like a middle lane. Hang on a second. Did I, did I miss a bit? No, we just... We started here. That's fair enough. That's sort of where the backup starts, though, is kind of a little bit of concern. I think what we should see further ahead is something wrong with this lane. Um, it is the traffic coming off of this that wants to mess about. So I think with a fourth lane, again, it might just be what we need. Um, oh my goodness me, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky, peeps. Like spelling Mississippi. Okay, where is the other conflict? I think it's I think it's sort of saying the whole road is the conflict. If we look at upgrading, right? Upgrade fine, not good. I think the road might be too low down. There it's not though. There it's fine. So where is Let's try moving this up. Going to if we if we shift click all of the roads that we think are a problem and then we use this tool here to match the height of that. That might be all we... Ooh, goodness me, that is an ugly road. Boop! <laughs> Up you go. Uh, we should probably therefore then select that and match it to the height of the one in front of it. Okay, all I did was select that. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now let's see how the upgrade tool works. Right, so we remove the move it. Ha, that was the that was the problem, but not here. There the conflict is the junction. Which we will just turn back a little bit. Bam. Right, so now we've got a four lane through this section where the uh, the thing comes around. So what is it gonna do? What's gonna happen? Some traffic whizzes straight by, that's great to see. The problem to me looks like a cloverleaf problem. Your traffic coming in wants to exit here and your traffic coming out comes before it. It's kind of a big problem. Have I built that cloverleaf incorrectly, peeps? Well, maybe that's just one of the problems of a cloverleaf. Now, I see that loud and clear. Do y'all see it? Do y'all see it? Your traffic's coming down this way, and if it wants to exit there, it has to move across the lanes where traffic comes out. Also, the, the traffic problem itself is literally, I believe, happening right under this bridge. There it is. Look, that little car there is being a sneaky devil. So, let's assess that this is a right-hand turn. So, effectively, most of our traffic through here that's having a problem wants to get onto this road and possibly somewhere in this space. 
what we might be able to do is jiggle the roads and offer a connection somewhere over here, but that seems rather unlikely. There is also an exit here to take some traffic into this part of the commercial district. Whoa, that backup is insane. Right, let's let's read some... Uh, Del Ren says, what about doing a tunnel to alleviate traffic? Okay, yeah, so this is a situation where a tunnel might be good because we are actually congested up the top here. Question is, where would this tunnel reconnect? In fact, even if we were to get these cars in here smoothly, look at how much traffic is in this area. I think, I think we can make some clever adjustments here, possibly. This seems to work okay. Where is the actual backup here? It might be this one. I think I think maybe what we should do is change the roads here to one-way roads. Uh, let's make let's make this one an exit road. Oh, you don't like that. Wait, what am I looking at? That's the one I want. Let's make that one an exit road. Let's make that an entrance road only. Maybe that helps a little bit. Uh, actually, I think we're looking at a roundabout problem where the cars here want to go straight over to that side. And then you've got the crossover of traffic as they want to go that way. Hmm. X in the game is past 2037, which... Which means I have to remind you about Hardcore Hermit's season on an end island buffet world. What? What if we turn that into an exit only? Right, then where does the traffic from here have to go? It will probably redirect itself over to this space. Goodness me, is traffic management tricky. And now that problem we were trying to solve has solved itself. Yeah, I think I, think I don't enjoy traffic management in this game. I think it's just a never ending puzzle. Oh, it came back. Wait, what? Did it... Is that me imagining things? Or did I look at the wrong thing? What? Oh, I must have just... I must have just had an absolute brain derp there or something. So I guess... I guess the traffic looks a little bit better here, but we've probably just shuffled it somewhere else. There's a lot of cars moving over the top there. Hopefully that's temporary. Hey, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Oh yeah, yes I do. I think. This road don't have a lot of traffic on it, right? So, why don't we add a connection here that maybe... Uh, we kind of need our connection on this side. And we've already done the road going into that area, so that hasn't been particularly useful. So it kind of looks like we need an underground road to shift itself... Maybe to that point there. Let's try that. Okay, so let's go grab a highway road. Let's take it underground. We're going to try and fix this now. So we have our little curvy worthy exit. Uh, page down. Right, how does that work? Do I go down by one or two or what? I've gone down by one to begin with. One seems to be enough. Um, and we just want to go to about here. And then we just want to go up to there. That looks nice. Let's see how the traffic behaves. Remember, we may have traffic crossing lanes here. So we may actually want the outside traffic to exit rather than on the inside. God, traffic management's a nightmare. <laughs> so it may look good at first. It may look like, yes, they're using that one. Brilliant. Um, and they're coming out here. Excellent. They're being distributed into these parts of the city. Wonderful. That looks like a good move. But now it may cause the traffic back here to change lanes, which we don't essentially, essentially want. Camo J says, X, have it all on a grid system like London and other places. Yeah, look, we've got the lane changing. we got the lane changing. Hmm. I wonder if I had the exit on both sides, it would work. Let's try that. Let's actually try that. I want to do that now. I want to put the exit on both sides. Let's go put that as close to that building as we can. And over there. And then that's going to curve a little. 
That's all that do, just to kind of hide the connection a bit. <laughs> Let's give this a try. This is this this is super bizarre. Super bizarre. Right, we're so gonna have to turn off the grid. Oh, it is off, but it still snaps. Is what you're telling me. I've turned it off, but it still snaps. Uh, also, we're gonna go down by one, which means. Oh, and again. Huh, that's weird. So if we do that, let's see, let's see how that affects things. Because now you can exit in either lane. It will probably mean they will change to the middle lane or something silly. You can exit on either lane. Do as you please now. Okay, they don't seem to like the one on this side very much, do they? At least they're now using all lanes, says Caxio Music. The grid system isn't necessarily the best, since a lot of roads might never get used. It's very prominent in American City, since those were planned rather than evolved, says Psycho Sire. Yeah, a lot of a lot of cities and stuff that you see in present world are are kind of developed. You know, they started in the past, right? Didn't mean the people making it had the best ideas about how to manage traffic. Traffic management in itself is like kind of fascinating how tricky it can be, as we're learning here. So again, I see I see this similar problem of this wants to go across like that, and then if you use this road, you blatantly want to go there. So in theory, these should be swapped the other way around, if that makes sense. Which we could actually probably do kind of easy. Let's zoom out for oh goodness me, this this the city in problems. Right now our grid goes all the way around the outside there, and I believe it means we no longer need this power line. So we will get rid of that power line. And we'll try and make the swap that I just described. I don't think it'll make uh, that much of a difference though. So let's get rid of that. So let's grab this tool. Okay, pause the game again. So we want these ones to be swapped around basically. So let's add our uh, exit here. And it goes down. That would be nice, wouldn't it, if it, if it cooperated. So we go down. Yeah, we want to go down quickly and then... You don't want to connect anymore. Well, you can actually just connect there, and we could make that a little two-lane bit. Let's upgrade that. Cool. In fact, it kind of looks like... Nope, wrong button. This stuff needs probably tweaking a fair bit. Uh, that looks like it could come back here a little bit. Alright, so that's reasonable. Now, the next part is to take this up and over. And it is not going to have a lot of space in which to do that. That might just be enough. Okay, so now they cross the other way. I mean, that looks just so absurd. Let's uh, let's go grab that. Let's, let's pinch it down a bit. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Maybe that's too low. Um, and then over here, let's grab that, pull that back. That's just an awkward looking road. But now that they cross like that, we should see that the lanes of traffic don't get as scrambled. Yeah, and look, that, that truck just went straight down there. Wonderful. Crazy stuff. Other way, X, says Cuplex. What do you mean the other way? That's the perfect way right there. Right, so again, traffic coming into this area is bonkers. Wasn't my original plan to solve the traffic with uh, public transport? I guess the, the traffic problem started when we added public transport. How weird is this game, man? Our city was bigger than it currently is, and we didn't have traffic problems. Then we added public transport, and everyone, everything went wonky. Please tell me I'm not alone in observing this. It is just bizarre. Right, let's go check on uh, let's go check on this metro station that we added. I want I want to know some things about it. Like, how's it doing? Is it feeling good? You know, is it doing all right? There is a lot of people walking in and out of there. That's brilliant. Um, I guess we're gonna have to check out Metro Line Three. That's the one that works here. Now that kind of looks like we could probably have one less vehicle on the line easily. 
easily looks like it because we are not filling it up every time. Let's check on our others. Not getting filled up every time, are you? It feels like less people are using the Metro now. Bizarre. Bizarre. Let's go to that one that's got seven and drop it down to six. We need to get more people on this Metro. Maybe we can use a city policy to encourage people to use the Metro. City planning. Um, is there like encourage public transport? Services. Higher ticket prices. No, we want the opposite. We want lower. Free public transport. It's either free. Increased use of public transportation. No ticket income. But can we lower ticket income? The Palot says, this game is cool. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. What one is that? That's our uh, that's our terrible, terrible uh, thing that we're probably going to end up shutting down. I forget the name of it. So the train, the train costs an absurd amount of money. We should probably uh, have a look at the different amounts of people. This is this is going to be quite easy. So I can't move this window around, which might be a bit of a pain in the butt. If we go look at our public transport again, that one. So train train is like bringing in half the amount of people of the metro. And look at the difference in price. So the train is kind of naff, really. It's kind of not doing enough. The buses are sort of ugh, bringing in a little bit. They're doing okay. And then this thing is a bit bloated as well. But the train is the real, the real killer. Um, Light Yellow Jack Mac Diamond says, Happened to me when I was going for 100k population, I think. With public transport, add it, draw... At the dawn of your city, it's more integrated rather than we need to put this on top of this other thing. That's that's a good way of looking at it, actually. And if I could start again, um, I would plan out the city. So, In fact, we might start again. I might start a new city and put public transport at the heart from the beginning. Maybe add in a few more mods and stuff. But you're absolutely right. Uh, that's probably going to play better. But what was so weird is that we had grown the city to a certain size, hardly using any transport public transport and it was when we added public transport that we then got some serious traffic issues uh, I can understand it from the buses but now that we've removed those bus lines the traffic problems haven't gone away it just feels a little bit I don't know I never feel quite in control of what's going on here um, this is interesting so no one wants to use okay they do use that term but a lot of them want to change lanes which causes a horrible horrible backup so again why don't we experiment with not having it on that side now? If you want to go through that area, you've got to go and uh, use that side over there. That's how we're going to play it now. Alright, so they've got plenty of time to get in lane when going over there, if that's their next turn. It also might cause the traffic that isn't going that way to get out of lane. It does say you can go straight over. Kind of looks like that's not going to be helpful. Well, we've just got to get less cars on the road. So this system right here is totally uh, bloated, as we established a moment ago. Let's go, we never did line management on this one, so let's go check out, like, how many vehicles are there? How many do each of these hold? Like, 180, that's metro level right there. We've got one on that line. Oh, maybe we did do this. We've got two on this one. Blatantly drop it to one. Um, this line's got three, and it kind of looks like it's the one that has the most. Let's drop it to two. Okay, um, that's doing hardly anyone, and it's got three. We're going to drop that down to one. And our last lane, is that our last one? Just one with one again. And then that one's got three. I'm going to drop that one to two. And then I'm going to go to monorail two and delete that line, because it just seemed completely pointless. So hopefully that's trimmed the budget there a little bit. Dropping it down. Yeah, you can see the number is falling. Your highways are too small. You need to upgrade them. Your city is growing in size, but your roads are not, says Numbers. I understand. I understand what you're saying. You may, you might be right. You might be right. But again, as I've been explaining, uh, when you add more lanes, you add a little bit of bandwidth, right, for traffic, for the amount of traffic going through it. What you don't address is um, 
doesn't always quite help you address these sorts of problems where you have backups because things are changing lanes in the middle, right? Uh, that's a huge problem that they all want to shift lanes halfway along their journey. And managing where they choose to change lanes and how they do that is really tricky. Um, and man, just the amount of stuff going into this area up here is crazy. Maybe we need another metro. If we think about it, this side over here don't have a lot of traffic and it's got its own metro. Maybe we should put a metro just over in this space. Or uh, what's going on with this thing? Does the trains have anything coming through? We were supposed to do a checkup on the trains. Do a little bit of a vitals health checkup. So train B... Is it? No, that's the one we just adjusted. Train is that one there. Train line. Uh, hardly any people and two trains. Let's bring it down to one. Let's check this one out. Hardly any people and one train. We'll leave it alone. Three trains and hardly any people. That last one's got a few more. We're going to bring it down to one. Because these trains are just not popular. Uh, again, we're going to bring it down to one. So the trains are absolutely naff. As you have seen, people just don't seem to really register with them so we're going to drop the budget on that one and uh, we should see that massive nut. I mean that is a ridiculous amount we should actually just whack that down there as well I, I can't believe how much money we're hemorrhaging on trains does X know you can turn off the day night cycle says light yellow jack I don't I don't know that you can turn it off how do I do that if it's with a mod, then obviously, yeah, you can get a mod for it, but uh, that's the thing, I guess. Right, so, um, again, this area up here, horrendous on traffic. Maybe we put a metro here. However, if this traffic, sorry, this isn't very popular, maybe we'll go for a more central area, uh, th being this right here. It's near to a crossing in the road, so if we want some some footpath action going on, <clears throat> We're going to have to destroy a couple of buildings here. Since so many of them are going abandoned, I don't really care at this point. Let's get our grid snapping back on. We're going to have a pathway, except the road guidelines. We're going to have a pathway from... Are you on the ground? You are not. One, two, three. We're going to have a pathway from here to here. Jeez, I'll, I'll get the sentence out eventually. Don't worry. All right. So, uh, that's a thing. Pathway from there to there. Uh, then if our metro is in this area... Should be pretty easy to get to wherever else you're wanting to get to on foot. Apart from that bit. So let's go and put the metro, I think, closer to our park. We're going to put the metro on this side. Like a so. Bam. There's some noise in the area now, but that's okay. Uh, let's zoom out and have a look. So we have the big circle down here. And I think what we're going to do is have it come around to there. So that's the thing. Ah, now there is a... Are you deeper than that? You're not. Can we... Can we go to here and go underneath? We can. We can sort of go super deep. Um, one, two, three. Four. Four seems to be the number. One, two, three. Up to about here. Like that. I, d I don't know how good of a connection that is. Does it slow down the metro at all? I don't know. But we now have um, a connection over on that side as well as this side. That seems to be important if we're going to fix this traffic. We need to get people coming into this area a different way, don't we? Let's, uh, let's drink. It's in the settings, apparently. Ah, okay, thanks. Settings? Uh... Options. Gameplay. There it is. There it is. Good good spot. Good find. Thank you. Why are people leaving the wonderful world of Derpopolis, says Roman Empire the Second. It's because they get stuck in traffic all the time, man. They're getting stuck in stuck in that traffic. Right. Um, let's go manage our metro line then. Bam! Uh, we're not going to add a new line. We're actually going to look at the old lines. 
Um, so let's go to Metro Line 2. And we shall... Ugh, there's so much stuff on the screen. We should try and add... A, yeah, drag to add a drop. So after you're done, go into that one. Can you bring it over here? You can. And that should be a nice little circle route. So that's good. This area's now got some traffic going towards it. And... We are looking at some filled up metros, but some that aren't at 7. Didn't we lower that from 7? We're going to leave it alone. Um, like one filled up one. This looks very, very tame here. Now, it's another line that should, in theory, go all the way up to this top area. And once again, all I'm going to need to do is... Where do I want to drag it? Wait, what line am I adding a stop to? Because I can click on different lines here. That's that's odd. I only want to click on this line, right? And it's going round in the other way. I'm not sure we did. I'm not sure. Wait a minute. This is where we need to change the colours of the lines, right? Like, now we need to have a darker one and a darker one still. And are you going to tell me that it don't even look different here? So I add it on the same line. Okay, let's, let's actually also change the colour slightly. I think I added it on the same line. That's so weird. It's got five stops. Drag a stop to remove it. I'm, I'm clearly doing that. Maybe I've got to drag it back to the one it was before, right? Move stop? No. No. I just want to remove it. Ah, there we go. It's gone like that. Cool. Alright, so we can see that it was just the green one. So now let's come over here. I can see the cyan line. Right, now I think we're doing the business proper. Okay, we're going to come around here. And if I, I can't put it on the other side. That's interesting. Okay, cyan goes there. Wonderful. Now we need that dark blue line, which I'm clicking on. And again, we need to bring it around to here. And they should all go around the same way by the looks of it. Yes. Now we have all three lines with the extra stop. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I did it, peeps. I actually did it. We also got noises in the air. Apparently, 19 minutes ago, I missed Calistine uh, subscribing with Amazon Prime. Calistine, if you are still here, so sorry that I missed your Prime subscription. I'm just I'm just a derp, you know. I can't really say much else about it. I'm... I'm terribly encroached by the traffic management of this game. Let's speed it all up to full and see if we can uh, see the impact of the, the Metro right here. Calistine, thank you again for your subscription. We also have Paydenox here subscribing with Amazon Prime. Thank you for using your Prime subscription on me. I appreciate it. I enjoy. I enjoy. I, I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're enjoying the appreciation of the, the thing. Jeez, I don't know what I'm saying. Leave me alone. Poor old X. Too much pressure on me to read these noises in my ear. They're clearly using it. Okay, they're clearly using it. Come on now. Let's see some traffic disappear. Let's see. Let's see some of these cars go. I mean, that's a lot of traffic there as well. Let's see some of these cars disappear, you know. Laurent Pavot says X. I believe the eyes on the left of the line colour toggle the line visibility. Oh, we could have done it that way as well. We could have kept them all the same colour and toggle the visibility. That... Makes total sense, doesn't it? Total, total sense. How's our area here looking? How many people are using this park? Are we losing are We losing money still? I'm trying to get more people over here. We're, we're almost turning a profit by $10. Almost turning a profit. What about this one? We should probably build a new park soon because it is park life and all of that. Um, I'm a bit scared about where to build it. Do you remember we were going to build like a... I think we were going to build a residential area over here. And now I'm just kind of... A little bit scared, to be fair, that... Oh, that all of this is just too much. Too much traffic. The metros, the metros are saving grace. That's what I'm hoping. Anyway, we were trying to get a policy. Free public transport. Now, we've lowered the costs of a lot of this stuff. The train... I think at this point, the trains need to go. They're still costing money. Uh, what if we were to enact that policy for a bit? I mean, it might be bad to just enact it and potentially remove it again. I'd never saw a way to adjust to adjust the price of tickets. Let's uh, let's like you know what if I look here? Is there anything line activity? You can oh day and night, so you can change the times at which they're active. Car trips save forty percent. That's that's good to know. 
And what's that there? Open the line overview. Yeah, I'm not seeing anywhere where you can lower, change the price. So let's go and use the district. The district? Yeah, the district policy. Except it's the whole city. It's not a district policy then, is it? Jeez. Free public transport. Rejoice, my city. Where are the smiley faces? Y'all just got free public transport. What is this? Okay, so 6k, 3k, 1.5. Uh, sorry, 1.1. Are we going to see these numbers change? Uh, we can see them come down here. Oh, look, there it is. So it would two. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we're, we're losing out on 2.6 a week. I think we need to just get rid of the trains at this point. I mean, the trains are just hemorrhaging money. They're not very good, are they? What do you guys think? Should we just turn off the trains? I'm going to make it a poll. We're going to have some interaction this live stream. Hang on, I need to spell the words correctly. I'm not going to spell them correctly. Right, start the poll. Apparently I can't type today. But, uh... Start, start in the poll. Uh, the poll be started. Now, la ladies and gentlemen, if you're on... A certain type of computer, a certain type of phone in your hand, a certain type of web browser. You might not see the poll. You might feel like you need to type in capital letters. There is no poll, but believe me, there is. Just only some people can see it for some reason, okay? I don't know why. Spangleboo says, I like trains. You also like beheading people. We can't trust you. We can't trust you at all. Let's see how many people are on our buses now that they've been running a while. Doesn't feel like a lot, does it? Let's go check out the lines. So for seven buses, they're hardly... Eh, some of them are a bit full. And then that one. Whoa, that's yeah, that's in need of an extra bus or two. So that one's kind of affected. But uh, we don't want to load too many buses into these areas just yet. We're trying to get the peeps down to the metro. The metro. Maybe the metro needs some more lines. Let's check it out. How are we doing on passengers? Uh, kind of looking good. Yeah, kind of looking on top of things. Not going to touch that. Five on this line, and that one really looks like it needs an extra vehicle now. So we're going to bump that up to six. This one over here, uh, doing okay, but look at this end station here. This is always going to want more, so we're going to bump that one up to six as well. And again, we are just slowly trying to tweak these things up. Trying to get it going good. Spangleboo says, geez, I don't like beheading people. It's just something that must be done. <laughs> Uh, you need them planes, says Light Yellow McDiamond. Planes? I don't think we're ready for planes yet. Are we seeing less traffic? I feel like we might be seeing a teeny tiny little bit less traffic. Probably not. Um, this, so, this area over here has improved, the looks of it. And we, we, we dropped down the traffic here to a minimum. Sorry, the, the public transport to a minimum. Hmm, I kind of want to do some more city developing and building soon. I'm in got to solve these problems eventually, but can't just expand it willy-nilly. Got to make sure we're on top of things. So let's go check the poll. Poll that some people can't see. End the poll. Uh, 59 votes for yeah, get rid of them. And 26 votes for save the trains. Jeez, we'll get rid of them. That's what we're going to do. You people trying to save the trains. Uh, no, let's actually just do away with it. I'm going to turn all of these stations off because they have been not good. Uh, we may need to put a metro... Oh, hey, wait a second. Now, that's a busy train station. Have we missed something here? Have we missed something here? So, hardly anyone was using the trains. Uh, where are my trains again? That one train line but one of these is I mean that's just such an absurd amount of people on the platform where are y'all going like that's not we're not seeing that number there are we what's going on why are there so many of them going to work going to work why can't we see that here passengers maybe that means currently on the line right those stops do not have a lot of people those stops do not have a lot of people 
those stops do not have a lot of people. Right, there it is. So, oh. <laughs> it's like we've got one line that's actually useful. Where are the stops that it goes to? So we know that one is that one. Right, we've, we've figured that out. Everything likes to jump around. What is this one here? Okay, so you want to take people there to go to work. I see. I see. And this is train line 2. So what we're going to do is delete train line 4, train line 3, train line 1. See you later. And then we're going to triple the amount of vehicles. So we're going to have 3 on that line now to take people to work and back. Let's see if that does something. Now that means that we don't need this station here. Uh, we won't need any other train stations. How do I see where our train stations are? Like that. So we don't need this one. Uh, that being said... Hmm, do they want to go and work over here? It's a short little journey, isn't it? Let's let's add our own little train line as an experiment as well. Let's see if those people will go and work over here. I was going to axe the trains and now I'm redeveloping it. Jeez. Jeez, what kind of traffic person am I? Train, that's it. Okay, so... Let's just literally go to there and then back again. Alright, so that's all you're going to do. You're just going to go around in circles, you know. Maybe some of these people will go work over there. We're going to watch this crowd go down, peeps. Now, um, I have... Do I have another station to turn off? Let's, let's check up on that. I don't think I do. Uh, one there. Aha, we do. We've got this one. We're going to turn this one off as well. Now let's let's now have a look at how much it's costing us. So we've we've shifted it from six thousand to two thousand. I'm looking at the wrong one. We've actually just shifted it down by about a thousand. So we haven't actually really impacted the cost. Trains seem to be deadly expensive. Right, and are these people going to go? No, that also stopped on the opposite side of the station. Funny enough. Hmm. No one wants to go work over here, do they? Line overview, line details. Ugh. Zero passengers. Let's get rid of it. No one wants it. We're getting rid of it. We're shutting down this station. Rubbish. Rubbish. No one wants to go work there. Okay. Let's go check out our economy. It still costs an insane amount of money to keep running. I can't believe it. So this is Derpopolis, says Charlie Panda. It is. I feel like uh, we should perhaps just start focusing on expanding again, but that'll probably bring with it horrendous traffic problems, which will bring the city to its knees. How's the metro down here that we added? It's looking pretty superb. So we've added free public transport. We've built infrastructure wherever we can, and it's still not working. Let's go check, uh, check that train line and maybe put an extra train on it. So, let's have a look. 240, 240, then 72. Going to there. Going to pick up. Yeah, that crowd's slowly diminishing. I think we'll leave it alone. I think we'll leave it at free. X, the upkeep in the station is almost all the cost, says Sibzi. Doesn't appear to be that way. Also, over here, like, what is with these abandoned buildings? Right. This metro's looking healthy. Your highway seems to be doing a lot better though, says Fawn Leo. It does, it does a bit, doesn't it? It's just this area. This area's ah. I mean, here's the thing. A lot of that traffic wants to go like this, it would appear. So, why don't we give them another exit option? Hmm. There's also a lot of traffic here that wants to go... Have we got traffic lights in this area? No. Wants to make that right hand... Yeah, look at this. Like it's Look at the amount of lanes that they're using here. That's the real problem. Like one lane to back up into, to go into one lane again, to most of the time it looks like make the right hand turn. And then exit the city. So we've got traffic here that wants to be there. And we've got traffic around here 
So maybe what we need is like a junction in the middle that comes across and then goes and joins this road over here. I think that's what we'll try. We'll try that and see if people will use it or not. Um, so let's go add two one-way roads that meet in the middle. Um, I'm going to put our grid on here. So we're going we're gonna to start it at this spot. It's going to come to there. Okay, now keep in that grid line. Yeah, yeah, keep that grid line. Ah, you want to... Okay, maybe that wasn't the best spot. We'll try again. We're going to go to there. We're going to come over here. Bam, we're going to connect to that road. Uh, but what we will do now is upgrade. Upgrade the roads. No, we won't. We'll swap them around. Bam. Okay, so they meet at this point here, and then they need to become a... Let's make it a two-lane highway that goes underground immediately. When I say immediately, I mean in a little bit. Okay, there we go. Right, now... Where is it going to rejoin? I think it's going to rejoin in that space there. So let's use this for a nice big long turn. Which apparently it doesn't like something in the area. Hmm, seems to... Perhaps that's the wrong tool actually. That's the one we want. Right, so let's bring it to about there. And then see if we can just connect. We can. Really using all the space we've got there. Oh, that's a... Jeez, it's the wrong type of road. What a derp. What an idiot. Oh. Brain farts. Let's go change it. That's the correct direction, though. And immediately, something is using it. Nice. Okay, so we are giving an alternative exit from inside the city to just get... You know, get out of here, basically, a different way. Don't use the roundabout, is what we're saying. Moose Man says, X, I know the problems. The direction of your lanes is backwards. What? It's backwards? No, it's not. Well, unless I don't understand what you mean by that. I mean, we drive on the left-hand side of the road in Derpopolis. Obviously, peeps, driving on the left-hand side of the road is clearly, clearly superior to driving on the right hand side. No, it's not like it's a mirrored and exactly the same, just in reverse. It's clearly superior. Alright. Assume a ringways, says Blue Boy. I don't know what a ringway is, but it sounds interesting. Um, it doesn't look like this is the most popular thing ever, but we are getting traffic through here, and I am just wondering if uh, we have traffic lights here. I can't see any, so I'm going to assume not. And the traffic does seem to be using that. We are alleviating a little bit. Seeing some alleviation here, which is pleasing. And some alleviation there. And now more traffic over here. More traffic than I've ever seen coming through this area. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, this game. This game helps me. We're having another death wave, peeps. Let's go uh, boost our medical again. Let's get those cremies in action. Ringways are ring roads, says Himmel Bob the Idiot. Well, I think I kind of know what you mean. What, like, this would be a giant ringway as opposed to being uh, lots of roundabouts. That kind of makes sense. Anyway, this road here doesn't seem to be, like, the big hitter. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop the presses. Let's go let's go underground and just demolish that road quickly. Um here is an idea. What if as well it exited somewhere over there? There is a lot of underground stuff going on at the moment. Let's go grab our double lane one way and we're going to split it with a free form road. It's going to go right. So space already occupied. That kind of makes sense. Uh, maybe that isn't the tool to use. Let's use this one for now. Right, I'm going to go down by two, and hopefully that means we can go... We can, one, two. It's, uh, wait, where am I going? Because I need to get... Oh, I kind of need to go through that space over here, right? Let's, let's undo this. All the way back to there. 
So I want to go through that space. Kind of the most awkward space there is to go through. Space already occupied. Until we get to about there. Uh, it seems to be okay with us going under there. Right, it looks like we may or may not be able to make this work. I, hmm. I think we need a tiny bit more. And then do that. Okay, it's actually going to work. Can you believe it? Well, now you can exit from here to either side. I mean, oh, it's kind of like right next to the roundabout that does the same thing. Is it not? Uh, quite a few cars are using it. Quite a few cars are using it. Uh, Light Yellow Jack says, uh, Remember when X said no underground roads? Well, I didn't say no underground roads. I was trying to make the point that... That underground... Like, just saying underground roads like isn't a solution. Um, when we add stuff like this, it's essentially the same as it being overground, right? Except you don't have those big things going everywhere. It's about where you're adding junctions. It's about where you're creating extra pathways for the traffic to go and a lot of the time it feels like if you just add stuff like this willy-nilly you know you you create more intersections more stops and turns that slow down traffic and if everything stops using the previous set of traffic and uses this then this becomes backed up with traffic so you've got to think carefully about where you put stuff and here it really does feel like this is the potential to be used a fair bit more. It is getting used. It doesn't seem to have solved the traffic problem. We're in another death wave. I'm so getting rid of death waves. Death waves are not cool. Let's go check out our uh, city statistics. Oh, no. So, yeah, look. Death wave. Everybody loves the death wave. X make a giant ring road using large freeways that encompass the whole Derpopolis. Not go through each district, but around the whole thing. What Esty said. Well, if we put a ring road around the city and you want to get from here to there, you're not going to go all the way around the ring road to get through. And I've tried this before, actually. On my first series of City Skylines, I built... I built a area of the city that had a ring road around the outside. Giant ring road, two lanes, loads of traffic, bandwidth. And the traffic never used it. It always went through the middle of the city. It tends to take the shortest path. Um, the ring road might not be that. And where would this ring road go as well? I mean, I guess you could put some of it on this side, on the outside islands. I think at this, at this point I might just start throwing money at the city and building more. Because uh, traffic management is only fun for so long, isn't it? Let's go put a, a Kremi somewhere down here. You're getting evicted. Sorry. Putting a Kremi in over there. This area doesn't have a Kremi. It also doesn't have no dead bodies. Let's put a Kremi in this little space. Bam. Right, I think I just want to have fun building again. So we'll expand. Um, and we will do what we have done continuously which is to just pick an idea and roll with it. It's a really great way of getting stuff done. Um, you know, you know, don't think things through, okay? Just go, let's try this. Uh, how about we try and use a tram in this city, okay? Because I don't care anymore. I, I, later on, I'll panic and I'll go, oh no, my ideas are terrible. What have I done? We've created more problems. If we add a tram line here, why don't we expand offices in this area, have a tram line that goes up to this space, I do actually want to unlock all of the tiles at this point. Uh, so we could build a big residential area here. It's close to this area, so we could add a connection there. And then we'll make a big tram line that goes all the way down here. Uh, if anyone could tell me, though, maybe tram lines, maybe they're only good for certain distances. That's something we should consider. Like, What if, what if people only use the tram line to travel short distances? That might be a problem. So that's something we need to consider. Um, Assume it saves the game. Thank you very much. You know, I try and save the game whenever I can. And we will quit and enable that mod. Let's go to the desktop. I also kind of want to add the no death waves mod. Um, 
Did I install it? I don't think I did. I need to go to the main menu. Just demolish everything you need to put the, the road in, says Blue Boy. You still have a huge station that costs a lot and turning off doesn't help. Just destroy it, says the Sumo fan. Uh, Sin Andrew says traffic is horrible in this game. Don't stress about it. Focus on the fun part of it. Sin Andrew, I like your uh, I like your attitude. Yeah, we should focus on having fun. X boost the traffic budget, says Camo Joe. That's an interesting idea. We turned that down in the beginning because someone said that you can pretty much turn it all the way down and you don't worry about anything. It's supposed to be the maintenance of the quality of the roads, which I think might affect the speed of the traffic on it. Um, so we'll give it a try. We'll do a little experiment. We'll bump it back up. Trains are meh, can be either way, says Sign Andrews. Uh, what about trams? Was I saying trains? Trams. Peeps, any experience with trams? Let me know um, in chat. Right, now now I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, isn't it content manager, mods, automatic buildos? I really would like that. Last updated three years ago. What? Because that stopped working, didn't it? 81 tiles. That looks like what we want. So let's turn it on. It has options. Unlock all tiles for free. Is that like... It's just a button. Hmm. Uh, let's go continue the game. Install traffic manager as well, says Rita Mordio. I'm not sure I'm not sure what I want to do with the traffic manager mods. I really think I would just like an improved AI. And I don't really want all of that detailed control everything, over everything. I don't... Like at the moment, I don't get this feeling like solving traffic is fun it just feels like you try stuff and there's just still more traffic everywhere so i think i'd rather have like traffic in the game just be easier just not be something you really have to like worry about because uh right let's see what happens ah but oh wait no if i buy that one it allows okay i like that i like that we can buy it we can buy what we want then i can buy the next one across great um I think I'll buy a couple extra as well. So now we've got this big square. That's cool. I like that. Um, that'll do me. That'll do me for now. We've got a nice big plan area to work with. I like these little islands. I like the idea of having some little residential communities there that pop around it. Oh, that's a cool idea, isn't it? So we can use the tram to go between these two areas. And then have some residents come from over there. But then they'll want some commercial. And who knows where they'll go to get there. They might drive all the way through, causing loads of problems. Or we could put public transport in them. Maybe there are districts. Maybe there's a district policy that says, use public transport. Let's go check that out. Like, let's add... Right, we're going we're gonna to have a district here. We know what we're doing. We're having a district here. Can I get the biggest size? Thanks. Um, it is going to be the massive hexagonal offices. The offices part two. Offices seem to be nice to deal with. Then we're going to have our uh, residential... I was going to put it over on that side. I'm going to put it on this side. Our residential area. Big old area. And then we're going to observe this giant square <laughs> that happens to be over there. Use the boats now, X, as Avenger Rins. Could you do a city with a pedestrian and public transport only? No cars. I would love to try something like that. Maybe we should um, do some things like that as well. Do some like little challenges. What? I've never seen that icon before. I've never ever seen that icon. What is that? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? It's like the power lines are gone. How weird. Oh look, there's a train station over here that I forgot about. <laughs> uh, do you have any stops? I don't think there's a single stop that comes here, but it says passengers coming through. Let's just turn that off. They don't like it. Jeez. And apparently we're hemorrhaging money again. Right as I was about to increase the, the road budget. Yeah, right as we was about to do that. Let's bring it up to about here. And we'll start hemorrhaging money. That icon means you haven't connected the power lines. Oh, well, when we build them, they're usually connected. And it looks like we don't need any more. So, district and district policies. Uh, we want to look at Robin Hill. And we want to change its policies. Let's just, hang on. Were we actually looking at it? I think we were. 
So it has the, the city-wide ones. Can I recycle plastic? Prefer parks? Where is the ban on vehicles? City planning? Heavy traffic ban? No heavy traffic. I like the sound of that. It does not affect highways. Uh, let's do that. Let's... We could encourage biking, but we don't have biking lanes and stuff. What we want to do is encourage public transport, I guess. Hmm. Also, what about... Yeah, raise taxes for office. Uh, we've got another subscriber. It's Russ Bite TV. Subscribing with Amazon Prime. Thank you for your subscription, man. Appreciate it. Only residents and businesses can use the area for motor vehicles. Ban other motor traffic. That sounds like what we want. We don't want this to become a way through for uh, other other traffic, um, which may cause us a problem to begin with. So I think I'm going to pause the game. Um, oh my goodness me! Right, we're going to add our tram line then, and that means we probably need a tram station. Make it bike-only district, says Laurent. We've already done one of those, so I'm going to do... Uh, monorail. Cable car. Cable car, wow. Where's the tram at? Oh, it's there. Jeez, what a dirt. So, tram depot. Right. Okay, so we don't add stations. We add a depot, and then we add stops. I see how this works. So we can have our tram. I think what we'll do... Now, we're just going to have it come to here. This area is probably not going to be too big. So we could have other types of transport leading to this. But it's this line here that's going to have uh, the trams on it. So then it needs its tram depot. It makes a lot of noise, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, we could put a park around it, just so people aren't as annoyed. And then we can upgrade this road here to a tram line. I don't know... If it needs to go in a circle, though, is a thing. That kind of... I think it does. I think it's going to have to go round in a circle here, which is fine. We will do that then. Yeah, it needs that. Uh, let's go to our traffic screen thing and check out... Yeah, we don't want traffic like... Hang on. Right, we don't want traffic lights everywhere. They kind of suck. Okay, that's good for me. It's good for me. Is it good for you? Wow, that's looking a bit funky, isn't it? Monorail could also be cool, says Kitten Robo. We've already done monorail. We've done the monorail in the city, and it was terrible. It's actually kind of been shut down. It's so bad. Right, so how much longer do we stick to this grid? Probably not that much longer. <laughs> this is going to be a very long tram line to get all the way up there. I think... I think I might be smart enough to rethink this and put it on the opposite side. And then leave... Yeah, let's put it on the opposite side. Because that's a ridiculously long way to go. Uh, now let's add two more, actually. And then let's add a big old curve that's going to bring it up sort of into this space. Um, so somewhere around here, we want to turn it into a straight line. And we want this to sort of go through the heart of our new area. Um, which we'll do by now going in a straight line. And it is going into the heart of the area. At which point it looks like it needs a loop around at the end. Uh, let's do... Hmm. Don't want it to be terribly big. Something like that. Let's see what people think. DJ Eccles says, So just had a quick look at traffic tutorial. The main thing is to take away stop traffic, trains slash cars, from entering your city. This sounds scary, but it is easy. Just terminate a train line so passengers move onto your train line. And four cars move them onto public transport. Then the only traffic is cars that are not in the city through traffic. And 
I mean, I'm not sure what you mean by move them onto something else. I guess. I mean, I'm trying to put in transport linking areas of the city together, and we're getting people to use them, but it's not been terribly successful so far. Let's uh, let's move this into its new area. So we're gonna kind of take up that sort of space. That's how we're gonna look at this area. We're gonna give it a shape and then fill it in. So the highway can go away. And uh, I think how we're gonna do this area is with like branch roads that go into circles. Now it might sound a little bit strange, um, but I've had this idea in my head for a while. I've been thinking about different layouts. Let's start off by adding uh, where the branch roads are going to be. I'm going to put one down here as well. So we've got those dots. Let's add it like every third, I think, makes the most sense. Trams are not that good for long distance transport, says I am dad. You picked, you picked a good time to say that, didn't you? I've been asking for ages, if anyone knows. Hopefully that doesn't that isn't considered long distance because uh, that is actually a long way, isn't it? One, two, three. Hey, we we live, we learn, and and stuff. Okay, that was that was supposed to sound wise. It probably didn't sound wise at all, did it? Is that the game music? Says I play it. It is that we are currently listening to. Um, right. So what I want these roads to then do is to separate basically. Um, by, is it half a block? I guess we're going to go like that. Um, these might actually be spaced too far apart then. They are, they actually look like they're going to be spaced way too far apart. Yeah, I think we need to figure out this grid a little bit. A little bit further in advance at the moment because that don't make much sense. Okay, so let's get rid of all those junctions. Let's connect that line and we'll have it go all the way down to the end here. That'll actually be our first little stop right there. But uh, I guess what I'm trying to do, yeah, is extend the roads out like that and have them in little rings. Now let's leave a gap of two between each one so there can be some trees and greenery between each block. Right, so that's a gap of one. That's a gap of two. Let's go and uh, destroy the next road. Also, that won't be a connection, nor will that, now that I think about it. Um, hmm, it's kind of awkwardly placed when there's already a junction here. For the sake of this one, let's actually just uh, do it like so. Two windows side by side with each stream in each. Says... Samuel Nortman. I'm not even sure that <laughs> Right, now this one's going to come out like so, like a long distance, that's deliberate. Uh, right, so then where's the next block? Two blocks gap in between each one. There it is. So it comes all the way out here and, you know, something like that. Um, so then we destroy this and we create a road there and then that one has a very similar thing on the opposite side. We should probably create this road to figure all of this out as well. So it's kind of like uh, there. Looks like a gap of three, gap of two. Now how close to that train track do we want to go? Not very close. So that'll be the end of that block. Trams are only good if there are frequent stops. That way there won't be huge clumps of people at each station, says Cuplex. That sounds reasonable. That looks nice, says Kid and Robo. Kid and Robo, I'm glad you think it looks nice. I think it looks nice too. Um, so I guess I guess we're going to end up just doing the same thing on one side as the other. Or could we just build roads through the middle? No, that's going to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? That one will be... This block's going to be a little bit longer than the last one. Yeah, this is, this is our layout right here. And then to there, to there, you know. Wait a minute. Let's destroy that road. Ah, I see what the problem is. That's not actually where the block's going to go. It's going to go there. Bam! Two through the middle. Wonderful. And um, how far out are we going to go? That far out, apparently. Jeez. 
crazy big blocks, but they're just going to be suburbs. Wait, park life is out, says uh, Ving Vingadar. Yes, park life is out. What? Vingadar can't believe it. I need capital letters to express my emotions right now. Jimmy says uh, 2901. Jimmy doesn't say 2901. I just I just says says in the middle of reading out Jimmy 2901's name. Well, what a heck of a thunderstorm last night. Oh, you, you got it too, did you? It seems like lots of the peeps here have been talking about the, the thunderstorm today. Um, I say lots. It was one other person. It was actually just one other person. Yeah, it was it was cray cray, wasn't it? Goodness me, I'm bringing back that term, peeps. It's coming back, I tell you. It's making a comeback. Now, this one can go a lot further out, you see. But anyway. Um, yeah, like, oh, it woke me up. It, to be fair, like, I had I'd done everything right in my day to have a nice, good uh, eight hours of sleep. I worked out. I went for a cycle before going to bed. And it stressed me out so much waking up to that thunderstorm. And then my brain went into total stress out mode and I didn't really get any good sleep, unfortunately, after that. So it is what it is. I wish there were like a copy tool for all of this. That'd be that'd be wonderful. K Demeca says Cray Cray. Yeah, it's it's a it's a saying. We're bringing it back. Uh is that too wide? I can't quite tell. I think it is. I think it is too wide. So, I could spend a lot of time doing this, right? I think we need to start actually putting it into motion soon. So, we've got the layout down for several blocks so far. We know how to keep expanding them. Um, I feel like... I feel like... What do you guys think? Should these fill up the space, go close to the edge? Like, should it go all the way up there? Or should we keep them relatively small? I feel like it looked nicer if they were bigger. But at the same time, like crazy big long roads. We're going to put some buses in this area, by the way, to bring it all together. Um, anyway, let me know your, your thoughts and opinions. We'll add one more block on either side. We may extend the other blocks and then we'll be ready to start zoning and uh, moving people into the city uh, where we are hemorrhaging money constantly. Wonderful. It's, it's a good feeling, hemorrhaging money. Okay, two in between. That is two in between. Line up with that one. Bam! We done it again. We done did it again. Nah, keep them like this, says Balisker. I think you should keep the coast clear. Oh, okay. A couple of people say keeping it clear. I thought the move it tool can copy stuff, says Bangleboo. Ah, it probably can, but I, yeah, probably got to learn all of that. So maybe that's something we try and do in the near future. Try and learn some more tools. That looks like too wide. And then it stopped moving. Let's go to about there then. Bam. Right. Connections are made. I'd say you could keep it small because that would make more of an A. More of an A? More of an A, you say. I think what I'll do is make them a little bit bigger, but not by a crazy amount. Just that one like that. This one like a, like a sofa now. Maybe even bigger still. Yeah, this last one. It's only a bit more bigger. All right. What is this game, says NJK666. It is um, it's a city building game. Do you like our city? It's full of death and problems. <laughs> full of death and problems. Bam. And we got Treelander84 throwing bits at me saying cheer. Or oh, Treelander, thank you so much for throwing bits at me. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you for the support. I hope you're enjoying the stream and having a good time hanging out with us as we play none other than City Skylines. Nice volume bar you build there, Asuma, says Fishpaw. Volume bar. Uh, and it looks a tiny bit like an equaliser, sure. Sure. I'll give you that. Jeez. Oh, someone's funny. Right, let's go... Uh, yep. And, oh. and uh, yeah, get rid of those. Bam. I like saying bam, in, in case you didn't realise. Right, so this is all ready to be zoned. And it will need power. Let's go ahead... Uh, wait a minute. We need tram stops. We need zone... What do we need? Parks. Right, yeah. Don't want to get too ahead of myself. Then we're going to need some public facilities. We'll put the public facilities on these roads. And we'll put the parks sort of staggered in this area. 
So, what kind of parks can we have? Uh, I'm probably going to end up using the same one over and over again because I just want to lay them down equally to begin with. So, do we have one that like almost takes up an entire chunk? That one almost does. I'm not sure if I actually want that or, or not. Let's go with the small one again. So, where are we going to put these? Put them at the end or the front of the block? I think we'll put them at the end of blocks like that. So the end of each block has a park that the peeps can go play in and enjoy. Can't forget about this one though. And then maybe maybe we should throw down some paths just for connections like... Uh, let's get rid of the old road guidelines. The connections like that. Bam. Um, here's the thing. You need a junction in the road to cross the road, it looks like, a lot of the time. So that might be one of the only ones that's really worth adding. Uh, that being said, access to the park is what it's about, right? So that gives you access to that park. Each one of these little roads across gives you access to the next block. I think that's not a bad idea. And for some reason that didn't... Yeah, there we go. Kind of like jumped across. Alright, um, then we'll probably need one or two parks in the lower regions. Maybe we'll put in the big parks for this one. Hi X, what are all the DLC that you're using? Um, all of it. I think we've got all of the DLC, so that's what I'm using. Let's put one, let's do that in every other, every other block. Okay, um, do we want more paths? I think let's add some dirt paths just at these bits so they can get to the um, the different parks at the front from each block. So that means we've got some good park infrastructure, okay? The people are going to be enjoying their leisure, and that's important. They can get from each block to one of these big parks, and they've got a small park at the back. That's the layout for these burbs that we're building. All right, now it's time to zone, so... We're going to go absolutely ham and fill in fill in all of that. Oh, that goes sort of... Oh, how very odd. Wait a second, what's going on at the end here? Oh, that's not actually a path. Wonderful. Right, all of that can get filled in. And that one. Edge of the blocks. Uh, what I don't want to do is have it go down the side there of the park. That's going to be a little bit strange. Uh, what did I just do there? Hmm. That block's a little bit wonky. This layout means the middle road will get loads of traffic. Maybe add little roads between the squares, says Cactus Music. Well, if you think about it, these are all burbs. Um, residential doesn't generally, in my experience, travel from residential to residential so the idea is that we're funneling all of the traffic out of here to other places we're probably going to add like a metro to go over to commercial um, or some transport line between these areas all right they want power oh it's so demanding oh we need electricity oh, the lights aren't coming on jeez quit your yapping quit your complaining um, that being said, we should have probably we should have probably zoned out um, particular stuff before other stuff. Let's go ahead and quickly dezone some of this before we run into problems. Yeah, we need like we need like strips like this to connect things together. Um, so we need to actually start with this block and bringing the power across from that side over there. So let's go ahead and uh, dezone some of these areas. Oh, they also want water. Oh, of course you do. Well, we want feeding. That's what they'll be saying next, won't it? I'm excited for the release of the new Escalium reactors, says uh, Brucey Boy. There's a new one. Goodness me. X, this layout means the middle road will get... Oh, wait. I <laughs> 
Just pick the same message again. Well, you can see what sort of messages grab my attention, can't you? It'd be cool if the uh, water just handled the power as well. I mean, that would be convenient, wouldn't it? Did that, that actually connect to anything else? It didn't. Okay, that's awesome. Right, let's resume. And let's hope that the power can start to get a little bit connect day up in here, you know. We need some connections. And we need them now. And we've not got much residential demand, which isn't good. Okay, I really don't want to build power lines everywhere, but kind of looks like it might just make sense to for now. While we're getting it all connected together. Aha, we can actually use these back areas to connect across like so. There you go, the power's coming through now. Aha, and people are moving in. That's good. So let's uh, let's dezone some more area though. Going to get rid of that bit and all of that. Right, and these parks don't really need power until they need power. Rightio. So there's there's stuff in the area. Um, guess what? These places are going to need hospitals. Kind of looks like maybe one at the end of each city each block even. Hello. There. And then over here. Okay. Going to need the same thing with the fire stations. One over here. Wait. You ended up rotating at the last second. Jeez. Uh, that was a fire station, wasn't it? Let's have one over there. Bam. So good fire coverage throughout the city. Um, let's go and add some of these towers up here as well. Because there is some serious fire risk over here. Okay, and then let's put one over the back here. And over the back of that corner. Alright, so that should really help with that. Police station next. Maybe just one in the middle. Crime's never really been much of a problem. We'll have one in the middle. Uh, then it comes to healthcare. We kind of skipped over that a little bit. We also need a cremie in this area for all the people that are going to move in and die. That's what they're going to do. They're going to move in and die, I tell you. We can also put a yoga garden in here. Wow. That'll keep people healthy. Um, education time. Primary schools. Elementary schools. How is the distribution? It's going to be one over here, one over there kind of deal again. So let's put that on the opposite side of the fire station at either end. Bam. Um, then we're going to have high school. One in the middle, maybe? And opposite it, the university. Didn't I say I was going to use an alternative at some point? Like, that's the university. This is the alternative to the university. The Modern Technology Institute. So let's go with that one. Oh my goodness me, that thing's big. Maybe we won't. In fact, the university is too big for this area. Let's go modify the roads here, uh, or at least this one. Uh, let's go... Just for now, and then see if we can build that institution. We can. We, we're literally going to do it. We're just going to chuck that thing in the middle of this place. Alright, let's go in there. These parks don't need power until they need power, <laughs> says a sumo voice. No, they move in and get murdered by Spangle, and then they go to the Kremi, says Cuplex. Oh, I see how it works. I see how it works. How is our power distribution doing in this area? We kind of just need a couple of connections in this area at the moment. Let's encourage some uh, some more growth. Let's speed up the game a little bit as well. All of this should start connecting soon. So cool, we're seeing traffic moving up and down through this area. That's great. That's good to see. I guess, I guess we need to think about expanding over here as well. Uh, that doesn't have power or water. The water thing, though, we'll do like that for now. Um, so let's go add some roads. So that can continue to go outwards. Even further than that, really. 
And then we can add our roads going across like we did before. Making some blocks. That's that's kind of funky, that bit there. That's super duper funky. I like it. Um, right, and then we want another sort of straight across road. That, yeah, that that's the way. Lines up with the next one. Okay, a little bit too close there. Right, and that's literally the layout. That's literally the layout. It's crazy, I know. I think it makes a lot of traffic lights, though, that we've got to sort out. Right, and now we can satisfy that crazy demand for offices. By filling in these, these big old blocks through the middle. Okay, offices galore. Let's, let's, let's start it up. Cuplex says, <laughs> NJK, ideas are good. So having a reactor that gives infinite free passive power, a mod that allow adds weapons and armors that basically trumps all the other ones. What are you on about, Cuplex? Cuplex is just arguing with everyone in chat right now. <laughs> uh, cool. Let's, should we get this tram line going yet? I don't know. It feels like now the demand is for commercial. We, we couldn't get the commercial going. It was so tricky. We really need this grid to like link up in a couple of places. Let's go remove some of these spots where perhaps we don't actually need it. So we need we need a connection across there that'll link up all of this. Uh, we probably don't need this here anymore, so let's get rid of that. And uh, we actually really don't need any of that. Okay, because we've got the power line doing that job. So yeah, we're focusing it into the right spots now, I guess. We've got water issues, water availability, power availability, good. Trash. Trash, once again, is a problem. It's always a problem, that trash. I'm just going to put I'm gonna put two new facilities on the opposite side of the street. And that's just an absolute crazy amount of trucks coming in and out of here. At some point, we're going to need to upgrade the bandwidth of these streets. But luckily, their purpose is just for moving um, the recycling stuff through the city. Assuming you are not making a profit, says XL James. Yep, we are not making any profit at all. We're we're a sad face city at the moment. That's what we are. It's what we were born to be. Well, we got offices coming in, which means we might see a little bit of uh, sort of back and forth down here. Let's go add in our tram stops. Okay, there's my tram line. Wonderful. Uh, we're going to add, hmm, we're going to start off with, stop here. Oh, you're on the wrong side of the street, of course you are. Stop there, stop there, and then you're going to go up this side of the street, cool. So, we'll have one here, one there, and then eventually there's going to be another block somewhere around here. So, we'll do that for now, and then it's all the way up into this space. Now, we're going to put one over from every little connection okay and we've done that all on one side of the street should I do it on the opposite side as well I don't think I should actually we should come back down here so that line that line sort of um, hmm here's another thing we're crossing the tracks there is that a smart idea maybe it would be smarter if I were to drag that stop to ooh, that might have been very bad uh, I've created all sorts of nonsense now, haven't I? Uh-oh. <laughs> Delete the line, quick, before anyone notices. It's terrible. Remove it. Yes. Oh, goodness me. I didn't want to create a cross in the line. Okay, let's start on the inside. Right, no, wait, I'm so confused. We drive on the left-hand side. I can see the trams going round. We try. We live in a society. Um, let's go like this. Okay, now I've managed to actually do something of use. It would look like. Uh, I kind of don't want that there as well. Great, wonderful. Okay, there we go. And now we come up to here. Let's, let's try that again. So, all on the same side. All right next to those junctions. Lots and lots of stops. Then, 
it comes all the way back down to this one. So it's about it's about distributing the peeps into the city. I'm just not sure if the order of the stops is particularly great. Now we want one that goes in the reverse direction as well. So we've done our outside lane. Now we're going to do our inside lane, I believe. That goes in the opposite direction. So let's go put these uh, stops in. Lots of stops in the middle, of course. Now you're going up this side of the street. Uh, we will add our stops opposite to the ones on the other, other side of the line. Okay, and then over here we're going to have them on the opposite side, but closer this time. So there are just stops up and down this street like crazy. Like you're going to have no problem finding a place to get to. Then we're going to come all the way back down here, and that's where they cross over in the middle, and that's fine. Right, so our trams. Looks like they're, they're getting a bit busy over here. This is cool. I like the look of this. But we've got to get rid of those traffic lights, man. Those traffic lights, they ain't good for us. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later, alligator. Man, this city looking crazy. Cool. So the trams go all the way up here into this area. And there are no things... Whatever those were that I was just doing. There's none of them here. Right, we have got commercial... Sorry. Residential demand. Once again. Wonderful. Um, let's start off by getting rid of some of our power lines. So we want people moving in there. And we want these gr grids to kind of connect across. Just want to make sure we've got that nice and stable. Right, that'll connect all the way down there. And then we've got some parks over here that don't have power. Let's uh, secure this. And that should make a nice old connection across there. And then we want to bring it across as well. X, do you not use the Vitals mod, says Willem? I do not. I do not know what that mod is. Orb says X, the second tram line goes a full round between each stop. Say what? A full round between each stop. What does that mean? A full round between each stop. We'll have to come back and investigate it. Um, it looks like, I don't know, it looks like people are coming over here and using it. I mean, we'll be creating more traffic. You can see there's a fair bit of it moving up and down through the city. Are these trams waiting to get out? Is that how many trams? Hey, yeah, how many trams do we have on the line? So, very, very low amount of passengers to begin with. And it's probably going to give us... Oh, look at this again. Right. Going to give us a lot of stops. So, 90 on each tram. So, like, three times the size of a bus and we've got 10. Let's just, while we get going here, because it's a small area, let's drop it down to like six on each line. Yeah, clearly that one's not ready for anything yet. So, number of vehicles, 65. Whoa, this is the one that someone said looped around, right? Let's delete that line and start again, because we don't want 65 traps. <laughs> How much did that take of our budget? Okay, it didn't take a lot. Let's try it again, peeps. Let's try it again. So, trams on the opposite side of the road now. Um, so, we're going this way. You know, the thing is... No, I did want them to go on the opposite side of the thing. Let's start there, because I believe that means we go in the opposite direction, right? I think I know what y'all are getting at. i just got to be a little bit more cautious here. But now we're... Next, see, now... Right, so I were putting them on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Right. I think I know what the problem is here. I need to start at the other end. I think I need to start up here. That's how I need to look at this. So I need to put my stops now on this road going down into the sea. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. So we come in all the way down here and our first stop will be... Actually, it's going to be before that one because we're going to expand over time. Something like that. Uh, we'll put a stop there. Right, and then we come into this area. This might be where I get it entirely wrong, but uh, we'll do our best. We, we go in the opposite direction, 
to go on the inside, I mean, that's probably not a thing we really need to do. But we'll know. And now we come back up to there. So let's see how many lines that just added. Or, oh, sorry, trams. Should be about six that we want to have on here. Yeah, added ten, so let's put it down to six. And... The trams... People are waiting for the trams! I like it! Lewis Street, people. Good job. This is why we built... Look at these shiny, slick roads. They're unbelievable. X, maybe turn off the other track so you see what you are doing, says Gallifreyan. Oh, I could have done, couldn't I? That would have helped, but uh, we've, we've done it now anyway. And I think peeps are moving into the residential area. There's still demands. We can probably get rid of some of the power lines now as well. Yep, look at that. Um, awesome. Just over here, a little bit slow with the development. So let's target these areas next. And uh, welcome the people into moving into these zones. Come on, peeps, move in. Right, let's go fill in all of these, actually. So, am I seeing water bubbles? Got some water issues. Let's go adjust the budget for that. Uh, we're not in a death cycle again, are we? So that's probably hemorrhaging money. Should we, um, should we enact some policies for housing up here? Like, why don't we go... Why don't we go for, um... Hmm, water and power usage, maybe? Ah, we'll leave that alone. Education boost, yes. We'll add that. Well, I think we want to increase our parks as well. Prefer parks. No, not, not for tourists. I think parks is already on the parks boost. Taxation. Let's raise, let's raise low density residential. Right, but also we're going to encourage high-tech housing. Uh, Old Town. I thought we did that on the other one. Let's put Old Town on down here. Maybe there's one more thing. Boost connections? No. We can encourage biking in this area. I mean, why not? Heavy traffic ban? Let's do that as well, yeah. Okay. So hopefully we generate a little bit more money here. We get some high-tech stuff going on. Yeah, hopefully it will be good. Let's go absolutely fill in all of this stuff now. Just make one line. The others will get stuck at the stops anyway because they will be stopped at the station. Hmm. We'll, we'll see how it goes and uh, we might see what you're talking about happen. I'm not sure. Quite what you mean, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Right, that is a lot of expansion we are doing right here, you see. And while we're doing it, we can get rid of these power lines. Okay, um, once we delete all of this, we'll be able to build a lot down the side there. Oh, we've also got that entire block. Um, do we need... No, we don't. Alright, cool. Um, we've got a whole block over here that I've forgotten about. And now keep zoning it in. X, you don't need an extra line, just extra stops. It loops for a reason. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I kind of just wanted two lines that operated in different directions. Like, one that one that goes... Well, I'm actually not sure how it would think about it. But one that starts here and then goes up there. And then one that starts there and comes here. But it probably doesn't actually matter because they're just going around in a circle. But we'll see. We've got two lines. Um, I guess, like... I guess if there's two stops, right, and one track is going this way, then if you're here, you might jump on the one on the opposite side that's going into town. That kind of thing. I, I really don't know, but uh, we've got both, so we'll see what line's more popular and what works. And uh, we'll continue to let these areas develop. Let's fill up some more zonage.
And that's, I think, pretty much all of the, the zones that we're going to do for this area. It's all getting zoned up. Sterling Park, how is it looking? A little bit slim to begin with, got to say. A little bit slim. Um, eventually, we're going to need a connection to go over to this area. I think what we'll start off with is a, uh, a footpath that kind of connects it all together. So, let's go Let's go build that. Uh, Kiwi Trav says, but they're not operating in different directions. It's a loop. The second line will cause congestion issues. You might be right. Like I said, we'll do the experiment. Um, also, what if they weren't in a loop? Does it allow you to run them not in a loop? Because then it could literally be a case of... Uh, like, back and forth might be a good way if it runs like that. Jeez, why can't I just not snap? Don't snap. You know, it would be... Okay, you're going to snap. I'll see how it is. I'll see how it is. Uh, why don't we make this a little bit curvy? We don't have a lot of those sort of slightly curved roads here and there, do we? Okay, then you come up to that thing. That's going to be a pain in the butt. Yeah, that's going to be a pain in the butt, I said. Oh, I see how it is right now. No! No! Playing games with me! Jeez. Making everything difficult. There we go. Let's go back to our path tool. Uh, we've got a... We've got a new subscriber. Zillan TXX has subscribed with Amazon Prime. Well, Zillan, thank you so much for your subscription, man. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you're enjoying today's stream. Having a fun time with us as we uh, work on Derpopolis. It, it truly lives up to the name. You know. Definitely lives up to the name. Uh, but thank you for the support, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. We will connect that path just there. Bam. Right, so now you've got a way to get all the way across. From one side to the other. Let's go throw down some beautiful trees. Some beautiful, beautiful trees across the path, just uh, just here and there, hanging out, being tree-like, making the area look nice. Sass says, almost 12k harmony. Congratulations. Congratulations on watching things like city skylines. That's cool. Poor people going to have to walk 100 kilometers, says Ilala. It's good for them. It'll, it'll, it'll keep them nice and healthy. Right, we've got one one person walking. I tell you what, if they want to go to the shops, um, there's a good opportunity for that here, isn't there? There's a very good opportunity to make this path shorter and get them into the shops. So, I mean, technically though, that path becomes a little bit redundant once you consider you can walk down the side of the street. But that doesn't matter. Um, hi. Let's have a straight road to there. Bam. That's a, that's a really good connection to have, I think. Because now it means some of the shops are closer. Especially if you live in this block. I mean, it's only a little walk over to the shops now. So, that's got to that's got to count for something. And slowly it expands. We've got large commercial demand and uh, lots of demand for offices. We can probably continue to expand the offices by expanding this crazy layout over here. Goodness me, it's mental. Demonic says, I'm done for the night, peeps. Enjoy the stream. Thanks for coming by, Demonic. Have a have a good evening. Whatever it is y'all is up to. Y'all. You know, because cause you're a plural, obviously. Jeez. I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm messing up the English language or anything. That would never happen. That's, uh, oh, there's a bit missing on the edges there. Right, so there's that crazy demand being satisfied again. This area don't look particularly glamorous yet either, does it? Quish says, hey X, hey chat, welcome to the stream man, welcome to the stream. Let's, uh, I was going to say let's expand. We, we kind of already got the stuff in the place to expand in that direction. Here's the thing, that road ain't going to be the road, is it? So these are going to come across like that. Um, what do we need here? Do we need a parallel road? We need something. I think I'm just going to pick an angle like that. 
and then we're going to have these come across and we'll use the grid as a little bit of a guideline. Oh! I think it just auto-saved. Yeah, there we go. Looks a little bit ugly, I'll give you that. Doesn't look that flashy or impressive, but uh, it'll do. It'll get the job done. And that's what's important. Okay, that covers the area. Let's get those offices in. Just nothing but pure offices everywhere. And all the way down the back there. Cool. I'm deliberately leaving those uh, areas on the edges here kind of open for us to do stuff a little bit different. How's the weather down there? Up here in Norway, it's 26C, says AR Onis. It's all right here. It's a sunny day today, although uh, clouds come and go. Clouds make a big difference here in the UK. They make a big old difference. Ah, we're going to have an interesting setup going on over here, right? Because this road's going to get expanded. So, it gets expanded. By the way, we have been playing without even... Oh, I didn't have uh, grid on when I was building that road. That might have affected it in an adverse way, but it doesn't matter. Um, now that we've been ignoring all the problems in the city, the game has been rather fun, I feel. Which is kind of amusing. So, if we imagine where the road would go... This is going to be super tricky, right? Like... What is the degree of that road? What angle is it operating on? I guess I could use that as a reference. So we're looking at a 60 degree angle. So if I do that at 60 degrees, it kind of looks kind of looks good, doesn't it? I feel like it needs to be a little bit more. Let's go for 61. Yeah, I think that's just about right. Now the next road would go there, obviously. So if I work out from this side, At about 60, what was it? 59. And then is there going to be room for one there? There probably is. Something like that. And again, guess what we're going to do? We're going to put all of the offices in. Offices everywhere. It's the office invasion. Ex Turin, Turin American. I'll have to send you your new American kit. Now including cheeseburger, a NASCAR bumper sticker, and a brand new grill to barbecue, says Duke Trogan. What is this? Oh, X is turning American. Gotcha. How am I turn What am I doing that makes you think I'm turning American? Jeez. I don't know what this is about. Oh, I need that back. Every time I go into it, I seem to do it that way around. The pain in the butt way around. Um, did we add any extra junctions? Don't think so. There's one there, actually, that we can turn off. And let's check it out. Let's head up here. So this is expanding slowly. They are having garbage issues. That much is obvious. Let's go check out the budget. It might be a case of... Maybe one of our policies stops the trash collection coming here. Wait, what I wanted to click on was that. Yeah, no, actually we're kind of low. So we need to kind of uh, bump up and solve the problem. Alright, so this area has developed well. Um, let's check on our city vitals for the tram line. Yeah, a few people using it. Lots of people using the metro. Lots of people using buses. It's developing. Um, it's going to look good though. I think it's going to be a good part of the city when it's done. I also like our, our tram line here. The heart of the city. It's bringing people into work, man. These offices have got people working at them. Big time, so that's good. And let's check out traffic. All flowing good over here. Looks like we removed a lot of traffic in this area with those buses, so that's nice. Um, this area here, looking okay. That's awful. That's not good in the slightest. Now why is that? Everyone wants to make that right-hand turn, perhaps. Kind of looks like the case. And then it's the merging of traffic there that's causing an issue. Uh, maybe... Hmm, I don't know. Ideas, ideas, ideas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where I'm going to wrap the stream up by saving the game. Thank you to all the peeps who subscribed, resubscribed, donated, and cheered as always. Thank you so much for your support. We'll be back with another Cities 
Skyline stream soon, I'm sure. I just noticed what the time is. I am just so easily engrossed in this game. And uh, what we'll probably go and do is look for someone else playing City Skylines to host, except except I can't see it here. Uh, let's type it in up top. Yeah, peeps, I'll pick a random City's Skyline channel and we will uh, raid it. That's what we'll do. We will raid it. Um, yes. Right. Anyway, I'm done. Thank you. See you all later. Bye-bye.